Are you an aspiring front-end engineer? And do you keep wondering how these countless lead code problems on data structures and algorithms are relevant while building front-end projects? And do you also think about what problems you should be practicing instead that would genuinely be used during front-end development? Well then, this video is for you. I will now walk you through a few resources which if you take genuine interest upon by finding the love for JavaScript within you, you will be able to become extremely good at JavaScript in general. So if you do not genuinely have pure interest in JavaScript, then the next part of the video isn't for you. Alright, if you made it this far, congrats. Your journey to become an excellent JavaScript developer begins now. Okay, so the first resource is the website named javascript.info. Now as you can see on the screen, this website has literally everything you could possibly need for JavaScript. This is not a promotion of any kind. I just know because I have used this website and also been referred to use this website by many other fellow developers who have an excellent grasp over JavaScript. The best way to learn a topic is by reading its documentation and understanding it yourself. You can literally find any topic in this website and attain in-depth knowledge over any specific topic. As you can see, it starts with the introduction and then all the JavaScript fundamental concepts and then objects, prototype, inheritance and so much more, basically everything. And if you scroll down, you can also study about anything UI related in JavaScript. So there is also abundant information about event handling, different ways to use the document and much, much more. And you also get a ton of knowledge about promises in JavaScript. So basically, it will also help and make you better in managing asynchronous tasks or handling API calls in general. And if I click on any topic, a prototypal inheritance, then as you can see, there's a lot of content with well explained examples for this topic. And it's the same for each topic present in this website. So my advice is go to javascript.info and start with the topics one by one or the topics that you would want to know of and just dive deep into it because the explanation is super clear as well. Be patient and try to enjoy JavaScript in general and not just because you want to crack an interview. That's how you get better. Now the second resource I'm going to talk about comes after you have gotten a good hold over the concepts in JavaScript, which you can get by following the first website. So the second resource is to utilize those concepts and practice good questions on those concepts to enhance your understanding. The name of the second website is bigfrontend.dev. This website is the ultimate website to solve problems based on front-end questions and understand JavaScript deeper by digging into your conceptual knowledge. As you can see in the website, there's JavaScript coding problems, front-end interview questions, front-end system or product design problems, TypeScript or JavaScript puzzles as well. And up here, you can also find problems related to React. Now, if I click on JavaScript coding problems, there are a bunch of questions related to front-end category. For example, you can see this question number 166, validate number string, and then question 104, traverse Tom level by level. All of these questions are related to front end concepts. In fact, I have heard people crack Facebook front end rounds just by practicing here. You can start solving the easy ones first and then go into the harder ones gradually. Similarly, you can click any other category you want and start solving the questions there. These questions are the type of questions that would actually occur while working in a front-end related project as well. So if you enjoy front-end development, you would enjoy solving these questions as well instead of blindly solving lead code problems and wondering if you would ever use that particular question while during development. So these two resources are extremely handy and honestly all that you need to get really really good at JavaScript. Of course, you can refer to other videos, MDN docs and other such resources. But these two websites simply provide all the content you could possibly require to get better at JavaScript because it allows you to learn the concepts from the first website named javascript.info and apply those concepts on the problems present in the second website which is bigfrontend.dev. So that's all for the video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.